man reportedly takes advantage of an empty school during Christmas break in a disturbing way. Investigators tell us he gained entry and then took inappropriate videos later posted to social media. And it wasn't just the school he used either. News 2's Andy Cordan has the investigation out of Giles County that you'll see only here on News 2. Giles County investigators tell me that this comes to their attention over the Christmas break. That's when they say a man breaks into Richland High School and begins posting concerning videos to the Internet. The morning of December 21st, deputies say James Childress, wearing a miniskirt or no clothes at all, goes from room to room inside Richland High School, posting videos to his social media sites. Here he is shooting baskets in the gym. Here he is prancing on a library table, stopping to take multiple inappropriate pictures. Authorities say this is James Childress standing over the vice principal's desk. He was doing some very bizarre things that uh, very concerning. According to Sheriff Kyle Helton, detectives begin investigating after Childress posts these disturbing pictures to social media sites. Uh, and maybe this is his call for help because he allegedly did this, then put it online where everybody could see it. Yes, he did. According to lawmen, Childress also appears to have gained access into a Giles County church on another occasion. Again, the 40-year-old Giles County man can be seen taking disturbing videos that include kneeling before the altar, even walking naked through the church parking lot in broad daylight, then pointing out the security camera nearby. Going into somewhere illegal anyway on his face, but, but going in and doing these bizarre acts is very concerning. Sheriff Kyle Helton tells me there is evidence to believe the ex-con, once arrested for aggravated assault, has done this in other jurisdictions, including the lobby of this Lawrence County movie theater. It's very concerning to, to us and the community. Mr. Childress was charged with vandalism and criminal trespass. He went to jail and bonded out on $2,000. I'm told that this investigation is active, ongoing, and there could be more charges. Andy Cordan, News 2. Now, we reached out to the Giles County Superintendent in a statement she said, as soon as we knew of the situation, we turned all information over to local law enforcement. We take school safety and security very seriously in Giles County and will continue examining our protocols to ensure a safe environment for our students and employees.